guys. I always say that the same way. Hey guys, hey guys. Well, hi. <laughs> um, I'm back. I finally have tackled some projects. I'm really pleased. You know, you guys know if you have watched any of my other videos on this channel or My Housewife Life or Winnie the YouTube or whatever, um, I've been a busy, busy traveling bee this summer. And I really, I've been, I think I've been away more than I've been home this summer, which has been crazy. And a lot of the traveling has been um, kind of spaced very closely, so I've only been home for small chunks of days. So I haven't really been able to get a handle on any big new organizational project. But I had a couple smaller projects I wanted to work at this summer. And one was my bathroom um, touch-up, annual touch-up, and I'm going to post that soon because I worked on it at the same time as the linen closet. And the other was the linen closet. And the main impetus for finally tackling my linen closet was when I did my one year anniversary contest and giveaway and the video responses I got for the contest. The winner actually, Yards83, um, I will post a link to her video below if, it, if I can still find it. Um, she redid her linen closet and it was so gorgeous. It totally inspired me to tackle mine. Um, and you'll see, it's, it's much, well, it's a smallish space. It's not small by any means. I mean, I have been blessed with this house and the wonderful closets in it. Uh, but I just, I really wasn't using it at all. It was mainly just a stash away place for cleaning products and like towels and stuff. But now I've moved all my sheets in there and I have great stuff going on. But I'm going to take you through like the before tour and then I did a container store haul. Um, so I'll post that video separately. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to show you the after, the final result because it turned out really well and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I'm going to take you on that tour now and show you what I did and then check back with you at the end. So here we are, we're standing in the hallway. This is the master bedroom right there. Um, and this is our linen closet right next to it. And I never really gave it much thought before because we have so much storage in our closet and in our bathroom even. But I feel like the time has come that I want to do something more with this. So when we moved in four years ago, I put in alpha, obviously you can see it, and I put it so it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the wall because I wanted to hang our mops and stuff on the side. So I'd have mops on this level and then also in the basement, none on the main floor, but it seems to work out just fine. Well, I'm coming to think about it. You see, this is actually a rather deep closet. Those are 16 inch shelves and they still have plenty of room. I think I'm gonna put hooks on this door and hang the, there's only two mops on, on the back of this door. And I think I'm going to purchase shelves that actually go all the way over. Um, because it's kind of really annoying to have shelves that don't. So on the top I have um, sheets I'm not currently using. Um, towels. These are our main towels. I keep them in here because they get kind of mildewy in our bathroom. It's very um, humid. so. Then I have paper products here, Kleenex and paper towels and, bone and extra cleaning products that I don't need yet. And then a bin with more extra cleaning products and a little um, housekeeping bin for upstairs. I have one up here and also in the basement. Then I have, you know, uh, what's that stuff called? Toilet paper. <laughs> a little step ladder. And this little card I actually had in our condo. I've had it for a long, long time now that I'm not really using. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm not sure yet because like I said, this closet's so deep, I can even have shelves going all the way down and still fit the ladder and the um, vacuum cleaner on the edge like they are right now. I don't know yet. The step ladder does not have to live in this closet either. Um, so I think I'm going to get deeper, uh, not deeper, wider shelves and maybe an additional one or two shelves and go from there. But it's a process. I haven't quite worked it out what I want in here yet. So that's my next um, step is to kind of sketch out what I want.
So I finished work on my linen closet and I just wanted to give you a look. It went really well. It was a very simple project. So I'm going to give you a top to bottom view here. There's no light in there and I apologize if it's a little bit dark. But you can see I basically kept the same structure of the closet. I had Alpha in here and I decided to leave it at how it was and not get wider shelves because I do like how the mops hang on the side. Um, I just it just makes it so easy keeping them off the floor. Um, and I just added in one 12 inch shelf. So before I had two 12 inch shelves, and I mean deep, two 12 inch deep shelves and two 16 inch deep shelves. Well now I have three 12 inch and two 16. And I already had the 12 inch shelf, um, which was great. It was left over from my closet, master closet overhaul. So I got to repurpose that. I didn't have to purchase anything. What I did purchase, as I showed in my um, container store haul, was these bins. I ended up buying two more um, because I had an extra shelf and I just wanted to get them while they were on sale. And you can see those bins at the top are empty. So in the future, I feel like these two bins will move up to the top shelf because they're less um, used items. And then when we have kids, um, eventually those bins will be for their sh extra sheets. But right now, so those are empty, um, this has extra sheets, uh, king size extra sheets, and then king size extra pillowcases and pillow protectors. We really never use those. Um, it's just to have just on hand. And then here are the sheets we use most frequently. So I have two sets of summer sheets for our room and two sets of winter sheets. And basically, I'll give you a bit of a look. I just folded them so they'd fit. Um, and I can fit, oh, I pulled down the wrong one. This one only has one set because it's still summer and we're using the summer sheets here. There we go. This one has two sets in it. And you can see it doesn't come up too high out of the bin, but it's still very neat um, and keeps them tidy. So that works out well. And to fit these shelves in, the extra shelf, I just kind of made the shelves a little tighter, but there's still ample room. So it is feasible that I could take the bins out and add more shelves in if I needed more shelving in the future. This is the great thing about Alpha. It's so easy to change. Um, here on this main shelf, we have all of our towels. We have a lot of extra towels for our room. And then here we have extra paper products. Again, these things can easily go somewhere else if at some point in the future we need another shelf for towels for other people. <laughs> um, that would work out fine. Now this was the main stuff I added, these Like It bins. They were on sale at the container store, so that was great. So I just tucked the vacuum cleaner into this corner because it fits and we don't go into these drawers that often. But I put our upstairs cleaning supplies in, you know, we already had that caddy up on one shelf and then this little handheld vacuum cleaner in this bin that I already had. And I basically started filling out these. I haven't labeled them yet because I haven't quite finalized if what's going in what. But um, just extra cleaning products, um, extra trash bags and such, um, extra Kleenex, and then these basically are empty, these two little ones, but I could put some of the smaller extra cleaning products in there. Or I could put, you know, things like washcloths or something at some point. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's a lot of room to grow in this closet. Now, I did end up taking out, as you can see, this... Um, Thing that I really don't like. I'm not sure what to call it. A rolling storage cart. I think I might just throw it in the um, utility room for now to use down there. I'm not really sure. If I don't find a place for it, then I will give it to somebody else or just give it away because um, it is a functional thing. It just, it didn't, I didn't need it. It didn't function for me in that space. And this was the little ladder that was in there. This is really a ladder that should live in the garage. It's a ladder, it's not a step stool. And I'm actually on the lookout for a step ladder that's um, small enough that I could hang on the back of the door. But I haven't been able to find one yet. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for that and that will complete the closet. But otherwise, I think it came out really, really, really nice. And I'm very pleased with it. And it just functions so much better now and it looks more beautiful. And it's nice to have a functioning linen closet at long last. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am really enjoying the linen closet. 
Honestly, I just walk by it sometimes and open it and just stare at it because <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, but like you could see, there's room for me to grow in there, a lot of room. Um, I did space the shelves pretty generously, and if I were ever to want to add more shelves, I could take out those bins at the bottom and put in more alpha shelves. That's what I love about the alpha. It's so easy to change and like, you know, just kind of play around with the closet if it's not suiting your needs anymore. I think it's, I know it's a little expensive, but I think it's worth it to have that kind of changeable system when you're someone like me, particularly, who likes to um, reorganize things from time to time. So, I am happy with the, the um, pull-out drawers I bought. They're like the nicest ones I have ever seen, and they were at the container store. Um, you, you can check them out in my container store haul if you're interested, but um, they're a little pricier than the normal ones, but they're so much sturdier and nicer, and they're like, they come in a dozen different sizes, but they all fit together, and they're just attractive, and I really like them. And I am going to end up labeling them once I, um, you know, finalize what's going in each drawer. Because you guys know I like the label. But I could totally fit, you know, eventually, um, if we're still in this house and we have children, I can totally fit the kids' bedding in there, the kids' towels, you know, all that stuff. Um, just by changing some things around. And, you know, on this level of our house, around, on the second floor, we do have two guest bedrooms right now. Obviously, eventually, if we're here, they would become children's bedrooms. But since they're right now guest bedrooms, I only have one set of guest towels and one set for each bed of guest sheets. So I just leave them on the bed, um, clean, of course. So they don't need to be stored in the closet. But again, that's something that over time, if our needs change, can totally be changed. And both of those guest rooms have very nice closets that I could conceivably fit sheets in as well even if it became like a little person's closet, they could still have plenty of room for the little person and put their extra sheets in there. Um, but at any rate, I'm really, really happy with the outcome. I just, like I said, I still need to find the right little step stool to put in there. I, to be honest, I don't really need one because I have one in my master closet that's like three steps from the linen closet. And I also have one in my craft room, which is just down the hall. But I just, I like having little step ladders in each closet so you don't have to, um, like run to find one. Um, and really, can you have too many step ladders? I just don't know. But I think I can find like just a little one that I can hang on a hook on the back of the door. And if I ever get to that point, then I will um, twit pick it for you guys. So um, you can check me out on Twitter if you're interested. I'm Organized Jen. I'll, you know, I'll write it right here. It's one word. And um, I enjoyed this project and I'm looking forward to you know, I'm going away again in a couple of days for about a week, but then I'm looking forward to working on my craft room and my mud room. Those are my fall projects. Um, so definitely look forward to those projects, and you can look for those videos, and um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the end of your summer. It's sad that it's at the end of it now, but there's something wonderful about fall and the holiday season to look forward to, and I have lots of great Christmas um, storage ideas and stuff for videos um, if you're interested in that kind of thing coming up, you know, in the later fall months. Um, yeah, so enjoy the sun and the warmth and the last days of summer here, and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.